Welcome to OC Outdoorsman and Big Bears 2022 Trout Fest. This annual trout tournament takes place over two days, Saturday and Sunday. I like to show up the day before to just do a little bit of pre-fishing, see if I can scout the waters, locate the schools, and plan for the next two days of tournament fishing. Show them, baby, on the needlefish. I guess they like pink. Hopefully this one won't spit the hook. I think I have six pound test on this as well, so it should be fine. As long as it doesn't spit the hook. It doesn't feel very big though. I caught this one on a Max wedding ring, and I'll talk more about that later in this video. These particular lures work extremely well on this lake. All right, one more look before he goes. Nice, clean release without touching him. I spent the entire day trolling different lures on this lake, uh, but unfortunately this particular rod was set up with two pound test and you should never troll using that light of a line. And I paid the price because as you can see here, I did hook into something sizable and it just takes one big head shake or a jump out of the water and that fish will snap your line and that's exactly what happened here. That was a nice fish. Alright guys, it's tournament day and I am heading east towards the solar observatory looking for fish. Water temperatures at 62.7 degrees. Air temperature however is in the low 50s. It's actually Kind of chilly right now. Oh, on already. Let's take a look. Ooh, this one feels nice. Again, anything feels nice on the, this ultralight setup. This is on the wedding ring. It's a little guy. He's beat up. Oof. He 
at this guy. I think I'm gonna release him. Skunk is off the boat early. Show you my setup here. The Christmas tree wedding ring with the little night crawler. I figured I'd get better results by tipping it off with the night crawler. And sure enough, it's working. Let's try that again. You know what? I need to check my wedding ring to see if it still has a worm on it. I forgot when that first trout bit might have come off. So they're perfect. Well, as you can see, I just passed the solar observatory. A lot of boats and kayaks here. I'm not metering any fish right now. Fish on, baby. So the way I've been trolling is I've been doing a really gradual S instead of just going straight down the lake. I'm going, I'm making slight turns all across the lake. Now the cool thing about that is that you cover more water, it slows down your trolling speed because again this thing likes to move and you cover more water and I'm finding that by doing that I'm hooking into more fish instead of just going straight down the lane. It's making a difference. Whoop! Fish on! Speak of the devil. Look at that. So yeah instead of just trolling straight down the lake Try moving in a, a slow, wide S. And you'll cover more water and land more fish. Oh my gosh, this is the smallest one of them all. Oh, good, he came off. I didn't want that, that guy. But he stole my night crawler. So, every time. Yeah. Granted they're all small but I'm poking into them every time.
me show you how I rig up these wedding rings. As you can see here, I'm holding up a barrel swivel with a quarter ounce egg sinker on the very top. On the bottom of that quarter ounce egg sinker, I'm about to tie on this chartreuse wedding ring. Now it comes with a three foot leader. It seems a bit longer, maybe three and a half foot. It's really long. So I'll tie that to the bottom of the barrel swivel. I like to use barrel swivels just to prevent or minimize any sort of line twist. So essentially what you have here is a Carolina rig. Quarter ounce egg sinker at the top of the barrel swivel and then the wedding ring tied to the bottom of that barrel swivel. Yeah, this setup worked perfectly. I caught the vast majority, just about all of my tournament fish using this wedding ring rig. I did maybe catch one on a needlefish lure, but this is a setup that worked best for me this weekend. So yeah, you want to experiment with different weights as you troll. Um, there may be times where the, where the fish are, when the fish are deeper and you'll want to use a heavier sliding egg sinker. And if they're higher up in the water column, use a 1 8 ounce, something lighter than what I was using. But for this weekend, the quarter ounce egg sinker worked like a charm. So you're going to see, I'm going to tip this off with a night crawler and that's really the ticket. I was able to catch a, a couple trout using the wedding ring without a night crawler, but the bites were fewer and far between. When you tip it off with a worm, Man. you'll get much better results. So that's been the ticket today. I think I'm gonna fix my other rig so that it, it too has a quarter ounce six and weight to get it down to the proper depth. This next fish put up a tremendous fight. I'm going to speed up the footage because it took me a while to bring this guy in. And I was using, at this point, I upgraded my fluorocarbon to 8 pounds because I was losing too many fish on lighter line. And yeah, so let's speed this up and you'll be shocked to see what I caught on this one. Take a look at this guy when I pull him out of the net. I couldn't believe it. This was my first ever smallmouth bass and I had no idea that this lake even had smallmouth bass. I knew that there were catfish, largemouth, bluegill, and other fish, but yeah, I had no idea that they, that smallmouth bass thrived in this lake. This had to be the, the highlight of my trip because I've read over and over again how hard these smallmouth bass fight, and it is so true. Um, the only thing I could compare it to is like a a spotted bay bass. Their fight is tremendous. And I caught him on a wedding ring. So, yeah, you catch more than trout with those wedding rings. second day of the Big Bear Trout Fest tournament here. I'm here at the Big Bear Marina, just launched my kayak. You can see the water levels are super low. 
I mean, right where I am now, it's maybe about waist deep. And from where I launched, it was like knee deep. And that, that was back there. But yeah, the levels are scarily low. Let's see what time is it. Hmm. It's a little before 7 a.m. So I haven't started fishing yet. We're not supposed to fish until 7. I just launched my yak. A little early to get ready. It takes about five minutes to get from where I launched to, to the open water there. Where it's going to be deep enough for me to use my pedal drive right now. I have to paddle my way out the old fashioned way. So I just... Behind me is the Big Bear Marina and directly in front of me is the, solar, the Big Bear Solar Observatory. And as you can see there are several boats just fishing there already. That has got to be a hot spot because that happened yesterday as well. But before 7 a.m. there are already several boats right in front fishing by the solar observatory. So let's see how oh, I'm already on. Look at that. First fish of the morning. On my way to the solar observatory. Oh, he spit the hook. That's all right, he was small. I'm hoping to catch bigger, better quality fish today. It is now 8.30 a.m. The wind has started blowing already. Wind power here.
So as you can hear, the wind really started to get stronger. So at this point, I decide to head back to the landing point. All right, I am. I made a U-turn from the dam, and I'm working my way back east. And as I was hoping, the wind is blowing east. It's on my back, and it's pushing my kayak along at the perfect speed. I'm doing about 1 to 1 1.5 miles an hour. Notice I don't even have to pedal. And at this speed, I mean, this is perfect for trolling. So, yeah, I have the two wedding rings trolling behind me. And I'm going to head back to the Big Bear Solar Observatory. Where the bite was decent when I first launched. So hopefully it's still it'll still be good when I get there. But in the interim, I will be trolling all the way back using wind power. Here I'm approaching Big Bear Marina and the water's getting really shallow. So I'm pulling up my pedal drive as I switch to paddles. And it gets super shallow the closer you get to these docks. So let's speed up the footage here as I make my final approach. The great thing about launching and landing from Big Bear Marina is this is where the weigh station is and this is also where the awards are given to all the anglers with the largest stringers and biggest fish. In second place, weighing 10 fish that weigh 10.28 pounds, Daniel White. Applause. And your 2017 male adult champion, weighing 10 fish that weighed 12.43 pounds, Mr. Sean Kinney. Yeah. If you're a regular subscriber to my channel, you might remember this next person that I'm approaching here. Uh, Scott and I are kayak anglers, and we met at last year's Trout Fest, but this year he caught the largest trout of the tournament, so he won the grand prize, which was an inflatable boat and outboard motor. So please join me in congratulating Scott, this year's Big Fish winner. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and do give this video a thumbs up. It would really help out the channel. OC Outdoorsman, out.